thing is, the question is, what is a proportionate response? Because yes. it has been different from one tier to another. If you look to this graph, for example, this is the death of Israeli and Palestinians, and it's changing from one year to a year. And that has happened to you. What would you uh -huh. think would be the appropriate way for the country to respond? I would do exactly like Israel did, kill as many people as possible since the, the, the world is letting me do it. I mean, I, I can do it because I can, you know? Yeah, you kill, you kill some to save some and then kill some more. Yeah, I agree, yeah, yeah, yeah. What would I, you I think would be an appropriate response by Israel? Well, well the, these are years of disproportionate responses of Israel. Right. Did it solve the solution? Did it solve the problem? Did it, did it work before so it will work? What, what will be the surprise this time? How That's, do yeah. we get from where we are now to peace? They live a life of daily loss of land, of homes, of life. If you are a Palestinian living in these conditions for decades, mm -hmm. Would you sympathize with your oppressor or sympathize with the people who claim they resist them even if they are there? It's about the way Hamas behaved on October the 7th was like savages. What is the proportionate response? There's no Hamas in the West Bank and they're still dying there. So what's your excuse? Well, it's, listen, this question of proportionality is one that... No, 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 I've been answering your question. You answer mine. Is it not my job to answer your questions? Israel always victimizes itself, and I have never seen a victim putting their oppressor under siege and bombing them 24-7.